Hello everyone, in this video I am going to analyze a simply supported beam. That means I am going to find out the deflection of a simply supported beam under uniformly distributed load. So let this be W kN per meter and this are two ends A and B of span length L. So you can calculate the reaction RA and RB using virtual displacement method so you can refer the previous video I have given the link above how to calculate the reaction using virtual displacement method so by using virtual displacement method or using equation of equilibrium you can find that reaction at A and B is WL by 2 okay so you can use the video link here to find out how this reaction can be calculated so once you have calculated the reactions so you have to find out the moment so moment due to applied force capital m0 so due to applied force which is small w this let me take a section here at a distance z so this is ra into z ra is w l by 2 into z So this is Ra into Z minus W into Z into Z by 2, right? Because downward force W is there. Upward force Ra is there. So W L by 2 into Z minus W Z square by 2. This is your moment due to applied force. Then in order to find out the displacement at center. Okay, let me find out the displacement at center. So... I'm going to apply a point load here okay so I'm going to apply a unit virtual load here because we are using unit force method so I'm going to apply unit force here so if one unit force is applied so the reaction is half and half on the both side so considering the same x-x section at a distance of z your moment due to this unit force is half into Z so Z by 2 right so half the reaction RA into the perpendicular distance Z so now in order to find the deflection at let this point be C so the force at C multiplied by deflection at C is equal to we have to integrate so if you see this is equally into two parts so I can divide twice of m0 by ei small m0 dz 0 to l by 2 okay so total span is l so i have divided twice of l by 2 i have taken the limit so now this is unit load so 1 this value is 1 so deflection at c is twice of 0 l by 2 capital m0 is this which is W L by 2 Z minus W Z square by 2 so this divide by E I term is there this so let me take this out as 2 by E I multiplied by small m 0 is Z by 2 to D Z so once you integrate this so 2 by E I so W L by 2, this Z into Z by 2, so Z square by 2, that integrate is Z Q by 6 minus W into Z Q, so Z 4 by 4, again here 2 to 4, 16. This 0 to L by 2. So this gives 2 by E I. W L 4 by 96 minus W L 4 by 16 to 56. So this gives 5 W L 4 by 384 EI. So the simply supported beam under uniformly distributed load the deflection at center is 5 double for 384 EI. So this is, you can also calculate 
using virtual displacement method. Now, just a small example before closing this chapter. For example, you have a simply supported beam and you have a point load somewhere other than the center. Okay, so and you want to find out the deflection at center. So it is same formula, you have to multiply deflection at C is, so this is your applied load. So you have to calculate the moment due to applied load. And then you have to calculate the moment due to unit load at unit load at center because you are going to find out at center so you have to um, calculate for the unit load you have to apply at the center okay and this when you are going to integrate if you look at you should always try because you can see this is not at the same point so you can take this distance a b and c so you can you have to integrate you cannot integrate totally all together because due to the applied force the moment diagram will be like this and due to the unit load your moment diagram will be like this so when you are multiplying so this is capital m0 this is small m0 bending moment diagram so you have to integrate from 0 to a okay then you have to integrate from a to b then you have to integrate from c to b okay so you should integrate into three parts because you can see the diagram here it is not uniformly you cannot at one stretch you cannot integrate from 0 to L okay so this is how when you have different types of load at different positions you have to integrate in different limits should be different portions okay and here note that the unit force that unit virtual force you are applying it is always applied at the point where you are you need to calculate the deflection okay if you are calculating the deflection here you should apply the unit force here wherever you want to apply because when you are using this formula if you note this unit force into deflection that's why where, where you are going to apply the load that is the point where you are calculating the deflection is equal to the this equation which is the integration of the moment due to applied load and moment due to the unit virtual force that you are going to integrate and calculate the final displacement. So hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching.